missed an episode of your favorite podcast, choose from over a decade of content in our archives. Not just the latest episode. All free at GCNlive.com. What is up, friends? Good morning. Greetings. Welcome to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more knowledgeable. You are more and more in control of your body, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle it really is no miracle at all it is simply the way the body works if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, let us help you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 855-660-4261. If you have a success story, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 855-660-4261. Likewise, if you have questions about the longevity products, the ones I take and the ones I recommend, Give us a call at 855-660-4261 and try to get on board early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear us talk about on the Bright Side or advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com. All the products are up on a shopping cart on the upper left-hand corner of the page. Pull down on the menu. Make sure you take a specially long look at my personal favorite longevity product, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Mineral Complex Powder that you add to water and drink. I've been seeing the results of this stuff for going on 17 years now, beyond uh, Tangy Tangerine first, then Beyond Tangy Tangerine, now Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 with probiotics, and prebiotics, and GMO-free. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com or by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask about joining the Brightside Ben team. For a one-time $10 fee, you can enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. You can write off your home office, write off your mileage, write off your products that you give away as samples and help spread the word about the importance of a good nutritional supplement program, not to mention getting your products at the wholesale price and not to mention making a little bit of money as well. And Some folks are making a significant amount of money. You can find out all about it by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or by clicking on the Join the Team link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com. also want to encourage you to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with new stories as well as blog posts. I got a story, uh, I have a, a, a blog post coming up there, hopefully today, about selenium. That's pharmacistben.com. And thank you to my webmaster, Robert Lundgren, who does such a fine job on my website. Okay, we are talking about cysteine. I love this stuff, man. Cysteine is a sulfur molecule, a sulfur amino acid, one of the two main sulfur amino acids, two main protein-building sulfur amino acids in the body. There's actually three sulfur amino acids, but two of them stand out in importance for building things. Cysteine is one of them. We're going to talk about the second one here in a little bit. Cysteine, as we've said, is a protective molecule in its NAC form. It's a hardening molecule. It forms a, it's a key component in the formation of keratin, which makes your fingernails hard and makes rhinoceros horns hard and deer antlers hard. Our skin is basically coated with a layer of keratin, a very thin layer of keratin, almost like a fingernail. You can think of a very thin fingernail that coats the surface of the skin, the so-called stratum corneum, and it's all, uh, it's all uh, gets the, this hardening, uh, hardening effect 
of this protein gets its, uh, gets its hardening uh, properties from this amino acid cysteine. But cysteine also has a downside. There's a toxic form of cysteine, which has been making the news, has made the news now for the last 20 years or so. It's called homocysteine. Homocysteine actually was first became, uh, first be the public first became aware of homocysteine in the late, 18, late 1980s and uh, 19, early 1990s. Kilmer McCulley, Dr. Kilmer McCulley was the first guy to bring public awareness to the potential connection between disease, specifically heart disease, and homocysteine. Dr. McCauley actually discovered this connection back in the late 1960s. He is a brilliant, he was and is a brilliant visionary physician, one of the good guys. He's a Harvard graduate, graduated with honors from Harvard. He's a recipient of many awards for medicine, including the prestigious Linus Pauling Functional Medicine Awards. He, obviously, this guy's not a flake. It's not some wild-eyed anti-establishment radical. He's pretty much a mainstream doctor. Dr. mccauley has been a guest on the bright side, and he's, in my opinion, one of the great heroes of the battle being waged by ethical, honest, and caring healthcare professionals against the established paradigm and status quo that's represented by the Institute of Medicine and its academic poodles, lap dogs, that corroborate and certify this dogma, the predatory dogma that passes for real science and unfortunately justifies the modern medical reliance on pharmaceuticals and surgical treatments for diseases of toxicity and deficiency. This is oftentimes what happens with the status quo, oftentimes what happens with an establishment. The status quo and establishment, unfortunately, oftentimes exists just to perpetuate itself. It forgets that its mandate is to help people. It forgets institutions sometimes forget that its mandate is to help the those that compose the institution. Certainly we see this in government. We see this with the state. The state oftentimes forget that it's not there for itself. It's there for the people. When an institution forgets that it's there for the people that compose that institution, that marks the beginning of the end for that institution, whether the institution is government, whether the institution is the state, or whether the institution is established models of health, like what we call the modern medical model. In any case, Dr. McCauley is an Ivy League guy. He's a professor of pathology at Brown University. He's the author of mainstream books, several mainstream books, including one classic, at least in the world of books for the public. It's a book I read uh, probably 10 or 15 years ago, which first introduced me to the important subject of homocysteine toxicity, and that's a book called The Homocysteine Revolution. In any case, Dr. McCauley was a resident in Mass General Hospital back in the late 1960s when he noticed that the symptoms of heart disease, atherosclerosis, specifically clogged arteries, were very similar to the symptoms of a genetic disorder called homocystinuria, which is a genetic disorder where homocysteine levels build up in ridiculous high amounts in the blood. As the story goes, Dr. McCauley had a patient who was nine years old, a, a little girl who's nine years old, and she had this disease where homocysteine levels just build up to crazy amounts. And this girl's uncle had, had the same disease many years earlier when he was nine years old. No one understood really what kind of health issues were going on, but they noticed that both this little girl, uh, Dr. McCauley noticed that this little girl, and many years earlier, it was noticed that this little girl's uh, cousin or uh, uncle had very high levels of homocysteine and also had clogged arteries. Now, clogged arteries occur when we get older. Clogged arteries, it's understandable that the arteries would clog with age, but this was a nine-year-old girl. And earlier, her uncle, who was also nine years old, had the same problem. These were little kids who had atherosclerosis, the same kind of atherosclerosis that occurred in older folks. But these little kids with atherosclerosis also had elevated levels, ridiculously high elevated levels of homocysteine. And Dr. McCauley wondered if there was a connection between the high levels of homocysteine and atherosclerosis. And this is very significant because at the time, everybody was obsessed with the so-called lipid hypothesis of heart disease. That is the, the idea that eating fat made you have heart attacks. There's still boneheaded doctors will tell you that. Eating fat gives you heart attacks. I talk to doctors all the time. They say, well, you got to lower your saturated fat. They tell you saturated fat. These are doctors who don't do research. These are doctors who don't follow up on the literature. And, and lay people as well. Usually they live in New York, I find. <laughs> Not just New York, but usually they live on the East Coast. This is where the mainstream model is really entrenched, on the East Coast. In any case, you find lay people and you find doctors and you find physicians who will tell you that it's fats and it's saturated fat. It's cholesterol that cause heart disease. And, and even though today it's the, the, the log jam in this belief system is starting to break, back in the late 1960s, it was really the firm belief of medical professionals that heart disease was caused by lipids and fats. And Dr. McCauley came along and said, well, wait a minute. 
seems to be something else percolating here, and it involves homocysteine. I'll tell you what happened to Dr. McCauley for having the nerve to contradict the medical model when we come back from our break. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Hi, Coast to Coast listeners. I'm Kay Swirling from KSCO Radio in Santa Cruz. I'm 93 years old, and I'm a big fan of George Nori because his topics and guests are fascinating and really get you thinking. George is just as bothered as I am by all the advertising you hear for toxic prescription drugs drugs that make you sicker, not healthy. I prefer to give my body all 90 essential nutrients it needs for life to prevent disease, not compound it. My favorite complete supplement is Beyond Tangy Tangerine from Longevity, which I take every day along with EFA Plus and Beyond Osteo FX, which together are called the Healthy Start Pack. I recommend you go online to criticalhealthnews.com to purchase these products. Products, that's criticalhealthnews.com or call 855-949-RADIO. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins. But did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction auction your product and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're here every day, Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time. 24 hours and seven days a week at brightsideben.com on the archive page. You got over three years of archives up. If you miss a program, you can always review them. And if you want to search a program, you can head over to benfuchsarchives.com. We have a search box. Thank you to Peter in the UK. 
so it works pretty darn well. You just punch in a topic and you'll get the shows that, uh, where we talked about those topics. You can also check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com, and if you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear us talk about on the Bright Side, you can head over to BrightSideBen.com. Of course, you can always join the Bright Side Ben team by clicking on the Join the Team link at BrightSideBen.com, or you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay, we are talking about uh, homocysteine. That's the toxic form of cysteine. Cysteine, the hardening protein, cysteine, the detox protein, but in its homocysteine form, it's got some toxicity, especially when it comes comes to heart disease. Dr. Kilmer McCulley, who is a Harvard researcher, he now now at Brown University, Dr. Kilmer McCulley noticed something very interesting when he was working at Mass General back in the ni- late 1960s. He noticed that a kid, a patient of his, who was nine years old, had elevated homocysteine levels. She was dealing with a, a disease where homocysteine levels build up to ridiculously high amounts. And he noticed that Simultaneous with her elevated homocysteine, she had the the circulatory system of a not a not a nine year old girl, but a a sixty year old woman. He noticed that she was dealing with atherosclerosis, usually a, typically a disease of a disease of old age. But it turns out that this little girl had the same kind of health problems, the same kind of symptoms. So he wondered if there was a connection between homocysteine and heart disease. This was the late 1960s, and it was the glory days of the lipid hypothesis, which is the idea that heart disease is caused by saturated fat, eating too much fat or uh, cholesterol, eating too much cholesterol. There are still misguided medical professionals who'll tell you that eating too much cholesterol and eating saturated fat causes heart disease even today. But back in the 1960s, it was really, everybody knew it was dogma. It was solid, hardcore, accepted, conventional wisdom that when you ate fat and you ate cholesterol and you ate saturated fat, you got heart disease. And here Dr. McCulley's coming around saying, well, wait a minute. I wonder if heart disease is really more about elevations in homocysteine, and he went and he, he told his, his uh, he went to his uh, superiors at, at Mass General, and by the way, it, it turns out you don't need very much to lower homocysteine, you certainly don't need drugs, I'll tell you how, what you do to lower homocysteine here in a bit, but anyway, Dr. McCauley got all excited, he goes to his superiors with his good news, hey, I think I found the real reason why people have heart attacks, and surprise, surprise, instead of giving Dr. McCauley a raise and maybe a, a promotion, medical, uh, the medical geniuses at Harvard and Mass General instead vilified him. Not only did he not get a promotion, he ended up getting fired. He ended up getting fired from Harvard. He was uh, denied a new position at, at Mass General. And he was basically demonized. He couldn't find work. So what the heck's going on? Why all the resistance to Dr. McCauley's research? Well, aside from the fact, as I said before, representatives of the status quo don't like to be questioned. They don't like to be doubted. They exist for themselves. They need their jobs. They forget that their mandate is to help the people that compose those institutions. Aside from the fact that representatives of the medical model and representatives of the establishment don't like to be questioned. Aside from that fact... All you need is a couple of cents worth of vitamins to take care of homocysteine. You don't need to have drugs. You don't need any dr- any doctors. You don't need any insurance companies. You don't need anybody but yourselves. All you got to do is take a little bit of vitamins, a couple cents worth of certain vitamins, which I'll tell you about here in a minute. And nobody in the medical model wanted to kill the goose that laid the golden eggs. Nobody in the medical model wanted to open up the Pandora's box of, uh, of, of violating the sanctity of the so-called lipid hypothesis. Cholesterol as a cause of heart disease is the pr- was and is the prevailing belief. And Dr. McCauley comes around, makes a ruckus about homocysteine. That isn't going to be looked at with, with very much favor by the medical model. The fact is you don't need drugs to lower your homocysteine. All you need is a good diet and a few very cheapo vitamin supplements, and that basically added fuel to the fire. These days we know, of course, that Dr. McCauley was right on, spot on. When it comes to heart disease and atherosclerosis, as well as Alzheimer's disease, inflammatory diseases in general, homocysteine is a huge, huge problem. As far as cardiovascular health goes, unlike cholesterol, whose levels have really no clear link to heart disease, people with high cholesterol levels live fine, long lives, never get heart attacks. People with low cholesterol levels end up with heart disease and heart attacks all the time. There is no clear link, no clear link. Tell us to your doctor, there is no clear link between heart disease and elevated cholesterol. People with low cholesterol drop dead of heart attacks all the time. 
Unlike cholesterol, however, elevated homocysteine, the homocysteine connection to atherosclerosis, to heart attacks, to heart health, to the circulatory system in general, is absolutely undeniable. Homocysteine is basically a type of cysteine that represents sluggishness in the body. Homocysteine, when homocysteine builds up, it represents a slowness, a, a sluggishness in the chemistry, in the biochemistry of the body. The less effectively cells are processing energy, the more sluggish cells are, the more homocysteine they're going to be accumulating. In order to understand what goes wrong when it comes to homocysteine, we've got to recognize a fundamental concept about the body. We have to understand the nature of the body, or actually we have to understand the nature of cells as little, tiny, chemical manufacturing systems. The main thing, really the only thing that a cell does, the only role of a cell is to make stuff. It's to make chemicals. And when I talk about chemicals, you can think of tinker toys. And the way tinker toys have little pieces attached to them, and if you stick one piece onto a tinker toy, it creates a completely different piece than if it didn't have a different tinker toy than if it didn't have that piece. That's how chemistry occurs in the body. Cells are making these tinker toy-like shapes. And they're making these tinker toy-like shapes by sticking on little pieces, just like you did when you were a kid and you were playing with tinker toys. That's what cells do. They make tinker toy shapes and they stick pieces on and take pieces off to create new shapes and they do this all day, every day, every minute of every day, endlessly and cease, uh, ceaselessly. This is essentially the very definition of the life force. The life force is that mysterious something, and I say mysterious because nobody knows what it is, the God force, the divine force, if you will, it's that mysterious something that allows cells to make these kinds of tinker toys all day, every day, every minute of every single day. Every split second of every day of our lives, cells are turning Tinker Toy A into Tinker Toy B into Tinker Toy C, chemical A into chemical B into chemical C, and then the cells are doing it by sticking little pieces on these chemicals just like you did when you were making Tinker Toys, but all of that requires energy. In order for Tinker Toy A to get turned into Tinker Toy B into Tinker Toy C or chemical A or chemical B or chemical C, cells need energy and they need assisting chemicals to transfer that energy, so-called cofactors, which ultimately come from two places, nutrition and oxygen. And by nutrition, I'm also including water. Between nutrients, vitamins, <laughs> excuse me, vitamins, minerals, protein, carbs, fats, everything we get in the diet, and oxygen and water, all of that gets converted into energy so cells can make Tinker Toy A and Tinker Toy B and Tinker Toy C. But under conditions of energy shortage, under conditions of energy deficiency, an energy crisis, chemical processing does not occur as it should. Chemical A may get turned into chemical B, but it might not make it into chemical C. And this can lead, up in a, lead to a buildup or an accumulation of chemical B and a shortage of chemical C. Hang tight. I'll finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. The freeze-dry guy, leader in the preparedness industry for 44 years, is closing his California warehouse. Don't miss out on this huge warehouse sale and receive discounts from 30 to 40% off on the finest mountain house and pack-away brand freeze-dried and dehydrated foods for long-term food storage or even everyday use. Plus deep discounts on all in-stock survival gear. The freeze-dry guy is offering a wide selection of freeze-dried foods in number 10 cans and even individually packaged entrees. Remember, meats, vegetables, fruits, and long-range patrol rations are the main components for any long-term food storage. This is limited to stock on hand, so hurry and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, as always, free shipping to the lower 48 states. So hurry up and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, this is limited to stock on hand. The freeze-dry guy is your choice for survival food in an uncertain world. By now you know that wireless technology like cell phones do in fact pose dangers to the health and privacy of everyone. Blockit Pocket's wide range of products are unmatched in providing the protection you deserve. No scare tactics, just common sense. BlockitPocket.com offers quality American-made options to alleviate and eliminate these invisible dangers. Learn more at BlockitPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockitPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. 
We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite hosts and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com, the future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturing. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. The freeze-dry guy, a leader in the preparedness industry for 44 years, is closing his California warehouse. Don't miss out on this huge warehouse sale and receive discounts from 30 to 40% off on the finest mountain house and pack-away brand freeze-dried and dehydrated foods for long-term food storage or even everyday use. Plus deep discounts on all in-stock survival gear. The freeze-dry guy is offering a wide selection of freeze-dried foods in number 10 cans and even individually packaged entrees. Remember, meats, vegetables, fruits, and long-range patrol rations are the main components for any long-term food storage. This is limited to stock on hand, so hurry and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, as always, free shipping to the lower 48 states, so hurry up and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, this is limited to stock on hand. The freeze-dry guy is your choice for survival food in an uncertain world. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are GCN. All right, we are back on the break side. Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for joining us. 855-660-4261 is our number. Our break side phone team number is 866-735-2470. Love to have you on the break side Ben team. Give the Brightside Ben phone team a call at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it for a one-time $10 fee. You can join the team and get your products at the wholesale price. Start yourself a longevity business right off your home office and your products and your mileage and maybe even make a little bit of money as well. They can tell you all about it at 866-735-2470 or you can click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com. Okay, so this whole notion of how the body breaks down really relates to what is what goes on in the body under normal conditions, healthy conditions. Under normal healthy conditions, cells, and you got a hundred trillion cells. Just contemplate that for a second. We got a hundred trillion cells. Do you know have any idea how long it would take you to count to a hundred trillion if you counted your cells one by one? How many years it would take you to count each cell one by one? Take a wild guess. No, not 100 years, not 200 years, not 1,000 years, not 10,000 years. If you counted your cells one by one, it would take you 32 million years 
That's how big a, a number 100 trillion is, and that's how many of these little cells we have in our body that compose us. This is ridiculously amazing. And each one of these cells is one one hundredth the size of a head of a pin. And each one of these tiny little infinitesimally structures is spending every second of its life, of its life, converting chemical A into chemical B into chemical C into chemical D into chemical E and on and on and on. But all of this requires energy to do. Under conditions of energy deficiency, which follow nutritional deficiencies and follow problems with oxygen, and follow uh, starvation and suffocation and toxification. This is the, the three main causes of all cell disease. Cells run out of energy, and you get uh, sticking points in this chemical A to B to C to D to E uh, to F to G to H. You get little sticking points, and chemical C will build up. Uh, chemical C will build up as you get a sticking point at chemical B. This is where homocysteine becomes problematic. And homocysteine levels start to rise. You can think of homocysteine as being chemical B. When something gets messed up between chemical A and chemical C, I'll tell you what I mean tomorrow, but I want to tell you right now, if you're dealing with heart disease or you're worried about heart disease and any kind of heart disease, atherosclerosis or hypertension or you've had a heart attack, whatever your uh, particular cardiovascular health issue is, there's three little vitamins that you need to know about that are going to lower your homocysteine. And it's real, real easy to get. Cost you pennies and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is loaded with these three little elements. I'll tell you about that tomorrow as we continue talking about homocysteine and its connection. It's true, real connection to heart disease, unlike cholesterol and unlike the saturated fat, the very doubtful relationship between saturated fat ingestion and elevated cholesterol levels in heart disease. Nobody doubts the relationship between heart disease and homocysteine levels. And we'll continue talking about this and tell you how you can address this issue tomorrow on the Bright Side. Time to hit our phones, 855-660-4261. Let's go off to... Uh, Let's go to California. Welcome, Marshall, to the bright side. What's up, Marshall? How you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm doing good. But um, a couple of months ago, I got a pain in my side, and I got diverticulitis. And I should know this by now, but I still have minor symptoms. Okay. So you wanted some help with that, Marshall? Yes, please. I, and I, I, I pretty much know the diet, but is there a do's and don'ts? Diet on your yeah. web page because if there is, I couldn't find it. No, there's no. I don't think I had did anything on diverticulitis specifically because it's not really that complicated. But your point's well taken. I, I, maybe I'll put that up this week. Uh, in any case, diverticulitis involves little tiny uh, pouches that form uh, that uh, develop on the uh, in the intestine. Those pouches are called technically diverticula. That's the name of the those pouches. And diverticulitis is a condition that develops when these little pouches, these little diverticula, diverticula. Uh, become inflamed or they can become infected. Diverticulosis, uh, diverticulosis happens when the pouch is formed. Diverticulitis is an inflammation. So osis is just the formation of those, pouch, of those pouches. Itis is inflammation and infection of those pou pouches, and it can be really, really painful. Here's the deal. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't need to tell you, right, Marshall? I've seen people well, with well, it. Well, the first time, but then I started treating it on my own, and now it's down to minimal pain, but I Good still deal. have a little bit. Well, you know what you're doing. Did you get fever or anything? That's not, that's when you really know you have a problem is when you get fever uh, and no, chills. It's, uh, I, th I thought it was uh, pancre pancreatitis, and it was on the wrong side after I looked it up. So. Was it bloating and pain? It, like was it like a sharp pain and bloating kind of thing? It, it, it's like you know when you're when you're gonna fart or take a crap and you get a little bit of you can feel it going through. It'll stop right there. Okay. Right well, the that's end. a little that's a little bit graphic for our bright side listeners, uh, but I, I, I get the, <laughs> I get the gist of what you're saying, Marshall. But, Any yeah, case, here's what you. Then here's it's what, really painful, right there. Yeah. Well, here's what you need side. to do. Nothing. There's no way you can have an intestinal condition unless you're eating the wrong kind of food. So it's really as simple as that. So your, your question is, what kind of foods do you want to eat? Well, first of all, you want to eat no foods. If I had diverticulitis, yeah, I did, I did that for, fasting. Yeah. That's the first thing to do. Um, the symptoms of diverticulitis can be short term. They can last a couple hours, or they can last a, a week, or they can last more than a week. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to stop eating. As soon as you stop eating for even a few few hours, you're going to notice your symptoms start to improve. When you return to eating, you want to be very careful about what you're eating and you want to pick specific foods and you want to see how your body responds to those foods. First, I would start off with very soft foods or liquids. That's the 
first thing I would do, liquids probably, soups, smoothies, pre-ground foods. Doctors will tell you uh, that, you want to, uh, that you want to start doing, uh, adding fiber, and that's probably a good idea, but you want to add fiber very, very slowly because you know, fiber can also, uh, can also cause problems because fiber, when you start to add fiber to your foods and fiber enters into the intestine, the colon, the intestine has to work even harder, and that can, form, that can cause pouches to form. So you want to be very careful about adding fiber to your food, but you do need some fiber. So you want to start off with soups and smoothies and then gradually have uh, more fibery foods, maybe some vegetables, small amounts of vegetables. I would stay away from super fibery foods like nuts for a while. Uh, and certainly you want to stay away from grains or bread or gluten containing, uh, really any grains or bread or flour because that can gum up the works. And any uh, uh, dairy and, and uh, cheese kinds of foods can also be problematic. If you have food allergies, food intolerances, you need to stay away from those foods as well. Uh, as far as uh, nutritional supplements for diverticulitis, or diverticulosis, uh, the best and the most important are fermented foods and probiotics. Probiotics, number one. And if you have diverticulitis or osis, diverticulosis, you want to be on the BioLumin Nightly Essence and you don't want to wait a minute. I mean a minute. If you're out there listening, uh, as soon as you stop listening to this program, get on the phone, call Longevity, get the BioLumin Nightly Essence. Marshall, if you're not on the BioLumin yeah, Nightly Essence. Spell, what are you saying? Bio? BioLumin is the company. B-I-O-L-U-M-I-N, BioLumen, and then they make a product called Nightly Essence. Now, they call it Nightly Essence, but you don't need to take it at night, but that's what they call it. And you can find out all about it either on my website, brightsideben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Now, certainly there's lots of probiotic supplements out there, but I like this one the best. So this is my recommendation to you. Whatever you decide, however, make sure you're doing about 80 to 100 billion units a day and try to use them in divided doses. And in addition, make sure you're eating lots of fermented food. The Z-Radical from Longevity can help coat the intestine, help improve the health of the intestine. And then the cells of the intestine, which are running out of energy, this is one of the reasons why these pouches form, the cells in the intestine run out of energy. Uh, they feed off of glutamine. The amino acid glutamine provides energy for these uh, intestinal cells. And using glutamine supplements, can, uh, glutamine supplements can also be very helpful. That's G-L-U-T-A-M-I-N-E, glutamine. I'd be using a teaspoonful of the powder every day. I like the powder better than the pills. They seem to be, uh, you get more value out of the powders. A couple more things as well. So hang tight, Marshall. And if you're on hold, uh, hang tight as well. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. There's a man named Dr. Joel Wallach who is anything but your typical doctor, both a veterinarian and naturopathic physician. Doc asks, why does the United States spend more money on health care by far and still rank 50th in health and longevity worldwide? He believes that people should empower themselves with a basic understanding of nutrition, take charge of their health, and attain optimal health and longevity through nutrition, not by toxic prescription drugs that lead to side effects and more toxic prescription drugs. Doc Wallach's message is resonating with an increasing number of Americans who are waking up to all the big government, big pharma, and big insurance manipulation of our health care system. I'm George Norrie, and I like what Doc Wallach is saying and doing to enlighten people about health care. Visit BrightSideBend.com and listen to Doc Wallach's Deadly Recipes lecture. It makes a lot of sense, and I urge you to join the Brightside Ben team. Go to BrightSideBend.com. That's BrightSideBend.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. We live in a complicated society. 
Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855 340 SAVE. 855 340 7283. Results will vary from case to case. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. All right, we are back on the bright side talking to Marshall in California. Marshall, I'm going to go really fast here, buddy, because I want to get to as many calls as I can. But there's lots you could do, and I want to. I'm going to go fast, okay, bro? So uh, okay. you're gonna, you might have to listen to the uh, archives at Ben Fuchs Archives or BrightsideBen.com. So number one, probiotics. That's probably the most important thing you could do. You want to do an elimination diet, start off by fasting for a day or two, start to introduce liquid foods, soups, and smoothies, and then start to slowly introduce more fibery foods, especially vegetables. If you can grind those vegetables up into Vitamix and make a, a liquid out of them, that's even better. Uh, uh, then you can use glutamine powder uh, as well as the Z-radical and other slippery kind of mucilaginous uh, plant material. Something called DGL can help. That stands for deglycer deglycerinized licorice. Uh, also, you can use a, a slippery elm, which is mucilaginous. Colt's foot is another mucilaginous herb. You can make teas with the, these kinds of herbs. You can buy these herbs at Whole Foods or on the Internet and make teas out of the marshmallow root, which has nothing to do with marshmallow, by the way. Uh, marshmallow root, uh, you can make a, a, liquor, a marshmallow root tea, slippery elm tea, and that can help soothe the intestine as well. Uh, also, if you have any conditions with sugar metabolism, something called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO, that can affect... Uh, diverticulosis or diverticulitis, so making sure that you're processing carbohydrates effectively or even laying off sweet foods uh, and sugars and, and carbohydrate-y kinds of things, fruit juices, etc. That's probably not a bad idea. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that you might want to think about. Uh, magnesium can be helpful for the digestive tract. Uh, and then fatty vitamins as well, especially vitamins A and vitamins D. There's some really interesting relationships between these two vitamins and intestinal health. Not only will uh, problems with the intestine compromise your absorption of vitamin A and D, but also, as it turns out, deficiencies in vitamin A and D may, in turn, cause problems with the intestine. So making sure you're getting some sun. If you want to supplement with vitamin D, 5,000 international units a day of vitamin D3 and 20,000 international units of vitamin A is a good idea. And then in addition to the Z radical, uh, aloe Vera can help also. I know we gave you a ton of information, uh, but uh, if you go back to the archives, you can review that stuff. And thanks so much for your call, Marshall. Appreciate it very much. Let's go to Florida and welcome Rod to the bright side. What's up, Rod? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good, Ben. Uh, can you tell me uh, about uh, multiple sclerosis and what the yes. uh, yeah. easy, easy peasy? 
Easy peasy. Number one, multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disease where the body attacks itself. It specifically attacks the nerves uh, and the myelin part of the nerves. Anytime the body is attacking itself, anytime you have an immune system defect where the immune system actually attacks self rather than not self, it attacks the body it's supposed to be defending, the first thing you want to focus on is why is the immune system being, why, why, what is hypersensitizing the immune system? Why is it, why is it not behaving? Why is the immune system misbehaving? And you'll find oftentimes, most of the time, something is getting into the body inappropriately that's triggering the immune system. The parts of the body, the, the organs of the body, the glands of the body, the nerves of the body, if you look, if the immune system, to the immune system, these different parts of the body look like food. They're composed of the same thing that a hamburger is composed of, or that soy is composed of, or that bread is composed of. The, the protein constituency of foods is the exact same as the protein constituency of our organs and our glands and the different parts of our body. So when the immune system learns to react to gluten, for example, or to react to some kind of protein that's in soy or protein that's in eggs or whey or anything else, it learns to attack that protein and it also learns to attack similar proteins that are in the nerves or in the thyroid or in the various parts of our body. That's called autoimmunity. It's a confusion. The immune system is confused. It, it thinks that the thyroid is a hamburger burger or it thinks that the, the nerves are soy. It thinks that the various parts of our body are food. And indeed, from a chemical perspective, the proteins in your thyroid are the exact same as the proteins in food. So it's, it's very understandable that a hypersensitized immune system will attack both food and attack parts of the body, which is why the first thing to do with an autoimmune disease, and I don't care what it is, is look to food and digestion. In fact, with multiple sclerosis, even WebMD, no fan of the bright side, I'm sure, certainly no fan of alternative medicine. WebMD is run by the medical model, run by the mainstream physicians and, and, and medical professionals. Even WebMD says fasting can eliminate or reduce the symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Now, what is that about? Why would fasting improve an autoimmune issue? Well, clearly, if you understand the mechanism of autoimmunity, clearly when you don't have food for the immune system to attack, it's not going to be attacking your nerves either. So I'm not telling you you're going to fast your entire life. Obviously, you need to eat, but I'm just saying this to show you how powerful the food connection is when it comes to autoimmunity. This is so tragic because of the tens of millions of Americans who are dealing with autoimmune issues of all kinds. And they're getting steroid drugs and immune suppressants, the most horrible medications, methotrexate, prednisone, disastrous horrible, ugly medicines, and nothing's helping. So what you want to do first is eliminate the problem foods. That means most especially going to be grains and dairy, but it could be anything. Soy, legumes, beans, peanuts, eggs. It could be anything. You don't know what it is. If it's a problem, if it causes a digestive problem, that's a food that needs to be eliminated. Secondly, you want to make sure you're getting your fat-soluble fatty nutrients. That's vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day, Vitamin E, 400 international units a day. Vitamin D is stupendously important for the immune system. The best way to get vitamin D is from the sun. Uh, no matter what you hear from your dermatologist, vitamin D from the sun is much more powerful for the body and much more effective in the body than any supplemental vitamin D. If you don't want to get that or you don't live where you can get a lot of sun, you can use a sun lamp or you can supplement with 5,000 or so IU of vitamin D3. You can use a, a fish oil and organ meats to get your vitamin D as well. Uh, the, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is all also very helpful. The B vitamins in general are very helpful. I'd be using high doses of vitamin C for all immune problems. Uh, the ultimate selenium from longevity is also important, maybe 400 to 600 micrograms a day. You might want to consider NAC, which we spent a lot of time talking about the last couple of days, and acetylcysteine, maybe 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day. And I'd be using the Osteomag product, making sure I was getting around 1,000 milligrams of magnesium every day as well. There's tons more, Rod, tons more that you could do. But if you just do what I told you, that, uh, is it for you or is it for a friend? For a friend. If, you, if she just does, it's usually it's women who have MS, by the way. I mean, autoimmune diseases in general affect women way more than men. Uh, oh, by the way, progesterone cream and pregnenolone, those can also help with autoimmune issues, especially MS. Progesterone cream or 120, 100 to 200 milligrams of pregnant 
Pregnen alone a day. That's P R E G N E N O L O N E. That can also be helpful. Uh, if you do even 90%, 80% of what I just talked about, you're going to notice, your friend will notice dramatic changes in her multiple sclerosis symptoms. Nobody has to deal with any autoimmune disease if they really want to take the, take the bull by their horns and start to control their lives, uh, their lifestyle, and uh, the kind of foods and nutritional supplements they, the kind of foods they eat and nutritional supplements they take. Rod, I got to move on, buddy. I hope I helped and you out. About, one more thing. How about sure. iodine or sulfur? They're all great, but they're uh, wonderful. But they're not. They're not. They're not first. They're not uh, on the A list. They're very important. I'm not. Don't mean to marginalize the importance of iodine or of uh, what was the other thing you said? Uh, of sulfur, of MSM. They're both very, very, very important. NAC will get you some sulfur, but they're not first order of business. Everything I told you is uh, those are the A list and uh, iodine and, and MSM. While they're important, they don't make the A list for dealing with MS. Thanks so much, Rod. Appreciate it. God bless, bro. Okay, Pat in Texas. Got a couple minutes here. What's going on? I actually got about a minute, Pat. What's cooking? I got a chemical burn. My face is itching. Everything I put on it hurts. Okay, hang tight. Um, I want to know what to do. Okay, number one, go get yourself some fatty vitamin C. Uh, send me an email, ben at ksco.com, and I'll send you a link for fatty vitamin C. Very, very helpful for all burns, but it has to be a fatty form of vitamin C. You're not going to find it in any stores. Send me a link. Say Pat from Texas. Secondly, get uh, uh, on 800 IU a day of vitamin E. Uh, 400 IU is a standard dose, but when you have a burn or you're healing from something, you want to double that. And in conjunction with the vitamin E, you want to make sure you're taking 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. And absolutely. Absolutely positively, you want to be sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day. Make sure that you're getting protein, especially the amino acid arginine. This is, and by the way, I'm not just talking to Pat here, you guys. Anybody who's healing from anything, especially burns, these are all very effective recommendations for all healing. Vitamin E, uh, vitamin C, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and then protein in general, but specifically arginine. Arginine is actually used in hospitals to help heal burns. Uh, you can get arginine as a standalone nutritional supplement, arginine powder, maybe a to 2,000 milligrams a day. It doesn't taste very good, so make sure you put it in a smoothie where you might want to use capsules, even though they're a little bit expensive. Glutamine powder is also important for wound healing of all kinds, especially burns. Maybe five grams a day, a teaspoonful of glutamine. I was talking uh, before we went to break how I like the glutamine powder more than I like the glutamine capsules. So use glutamine powder, and that'll help accelerate healing. Don't forget about essential fatty acids as well. Those can have a beneficial effect on healing, as can the mineral zinc, the skin's most important mineral 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate whenever you're taking zinc you want to balance that out with a little bit of copper as well and i know i went really fast there pat but you can always review uh, you can always review the advice we give on the bright side at brightsideben.com and check out our archive page thanks for your call appreciate it and that's all the time we have for today tomorrow we'll continue talking about the toxic form of cysteine and what you can do to lower it the three very simple vitamins very inexpensive vitamins that you could do to lower hom homocysteine as well as your risk for heart disease thanks so much for listening folks i'm pharmacist ben have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall 
between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates, 1-800-425-4610. 